Community Viewpoint uh, for the next segment. And oh, I'm John Pollock, your host. And we're going to be talking about veterans this, uh, this segment. I am a veteran, Vietnam veteran. And I'm currently a AmeriCorps member. I have been for the most part of the year, coming to the end of my tenure for the first year. Uh, I work for WestCare and AmeriCorps. So let me talk to you a little bit about what uh, WestCare has in store for AmeriCorps, uh, explain AmeriCorps, and tell you about some of the functions that are coming up. Uh, first of all, the Cambridge Community Center is having its third annual Winter Veterans Standout. There's the AmeriCorps member uh, uh, logo. At 3900 Cambridge Street in Las Vegas uh, on October 4th and 5th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. This is open to all men and women who have served in the United States military and reserves, National Guard, and Merchant Marines. They all are welcome. Uh, these services that will be offered on, on that day, those days, are VA enrollment, if you haven't enrolled already, medical, de vision, and dental screening, employment services, housing. Uh, this is for homeless veterans also. Uh, readjustment counseling, family life counseling, legal assistance, Backpacks, sleeping bags will be available, clothing for men, women, and children, blankets, hygiene kits, and food packages. If you have questions about this that's coming up, uh, you can call or donate uh, at 702-455-7386. Or you could pre-register if you want to be a member, if you have something to uh, uh, to give out to the veterans, uh, pre-register the health Health Care for Homeless Veterans at 930 West Owens. The number there is 702-636-3000. There's a, uh, a stand-down, and I forget if it's March or May in Las Vegas, but this is the, the Winter Veteran Stand-Down. So this is important. If we, need, we are in need of anything, contact 702-455-7386. Uh, for questions and see if there's something that you can uh, provide or if there's some needs that you have uh, they can be met by this uh, winter stand down so that's one important thing that we have there and uh, next I'll be talking about AmeriCorps I belong to AmeriCorps AmeriCorps basically is Peace Corps but uh, in the United States AmeriCorps is an opportunity to make a big difference in your life and in the life of those around you. It's a chance to apply your skills and ideas towards helping others and meeting critical needs of our communities. Each year, AmeriCorps offers 75,000 opportunities for adults of all ages and backgrounds to serve through a network of partnerships with local and national nonprofit organizations. Locally, we have WestCare, who I work for, and uh, Stacy Smith with Nye Community Coalition. She has about seven or eight AmeriCorps members also. Whether your service makes the community safer, gives a child a second chance, or helps protect the environment, you'll be getting things done through AmeriCorps. AmeriCorps member address critical needs in communities all across America. As an AmeriCorps member, you can tutor and mentor disadvantaged youth, fight illiteracy, improve health services, build affordable housing, teach computer skills, teach park, clean park in uh, parks and streams, if we had streams, sorry. Manage and operate after after school programs, help communities respond to disasters, and build organizational capacities. Uh, as a AmeriCorps member, you'll gain new skills and experiences, and you'll also find the tremendous satisfaction that comes from helping others. In addition, full-time members who complete their service earn a Siegel AmeriCorps Education Award to pay for college, graduate school, or to pay back qualified student loans. Members who serve part-time receive a partial award. Some AmeriCorps members may also receive a modest living allowance during their term of service. Now let me tell you what WestCare has to offer, WestCare is who I currently am contracted with. This is on our website also, we'll mention that at, at the end. So it, we, we say it, join, to join the, the National AmeriCorps Service Movement and earn a stipend, you do earn some money while you're uh, working for the 1700 hours, while you make a difference with the life of other veter veterans in the area. So WestCare Foundation Incorporated National Network of Nonprofit Community-Based Behavioral Health Affiliates is recruiting U.S. military veterans to fill 44 full-time position slots in its new AmeriCorps National Direct 
program. It's at www.americorps.gov. That's their website. Uh, Full-time AmeriCorps members will provide 1,700 hours, that's for the year, of hands-on service over a 12-month period at a WestCare affiliate serving veterans and their families on-site and in the community. Members will assist program staff to provide recovery support services while we're there, skill building, screenings, and assessments, etc. Member possessions are uh, available in locally Pahrump, Las Vegas, Reno, uh, then farther out in Bullhead City, Kingman, then we have available, uh, availability at St. Croix, U.S. Uh, Virgin Islands. Maybe I'll, I'll look at that to see if that's available. Uh, but um, Savannah, Georgia, back in Illinois, Cook County, where I'm from, um, the AmeriCorps members receive a stipend, a semi-monthly uh, semi, semi, um, benefit with limited med medical and dental uh, coverage and a Siegel, like I said before, America, America, America Corps education grant upon completion of service. I think ours was $5,500 at the end of the year, so we can use that for ourselves or our offspring. So, experience and our interest in a nonprofit field, this is the prerequisites behavior, health field, or veterans' needs are required. Preference will be given to U.S. military veterans. All positions require a high school diploma or equivalent, the ability to pass a background check, which is important, uh, screening, and the ability to commit to a 12 consecutive months of service. Individuals selected are required to travel to an, all, an expense paid week of mandatory training at a location to be uh, stated later and on a date to be provided later, probably in October. Oh my goodness, it's next month. AmeriCorps programs are open to U.S. citizens, nationals, or lawful permanent residents, resident aliens 18 years of age or older. Interested individuals can click on the blue box on the uh, westcare.com page uh, and to fill out the AmeriCorps application form and then send your completed application via email to mshields, M-S-H-I-E-L-D-S at westcare.com. That's Mike Shields. Hi, Mike, if you're watching. But this is what we have to offer this year. It's very rewarding. And if you are a volunteer uh, type of a person and you want to find something to do besides sitting at home watching the, uh, the, the television saying that there's nothing on anymore, even though you have satellite, uh, please come out if you want to help, help veterans, help other people in, in our community. So uh, you're more than welcome to uh, come out and uh, be part of the AmeriCorps. It's very rewarding. And if you're serving uh, other veterans uh, within your community, and uh, I have a relationship with Ken Shockley, who is our veteran uh, uh, representative in town here. He does a great deal of work uh, for the veterans. So uh, that's what's happening with AmeriCorps. And uh, how many minutes we got left? We got five more minutes. Well, let's see what the next segment's going to do. I also uh, had the honor to uh, go to a uh, an event a couple of weeks ago. Uh, uh, I took a trip to northern Nevada to the Black, Black Rock Desert where I spent a glorious week eating dust, reconnecting with old friends, new friends, and sometimes uh, very special friends, all of which can and many times uh, do change one's outlook on life, sometimes forever, for the better. Or you're not known as a burner. And yeah, I went to burn, Burning Man. During my visit, I had the pleasure to meet with some of the department heads of the project to introduce myself and prompt to, uh, so to begin a dialogue with uh, Burning Man for possible future collaborations in the fields of art, solar power, entertainment, f festivals, and community participation. It was a life-changing experience, like it is every year that we go to Burning Man, and it's hard to describe what it is uh, in a small segment like this. Um, but it's got to be experienced in person to be fully appreciated. Uh, we're going to look at some pictures here while we have the last couple of minutes that I took over there. These are, this is so cute. The guy has a bicycle and he has a little carts, uh, little wagons there with little tiny bears in there. They're all pulling uh, each other. And uh, we have a lot of art cars and things like that. Let's go to the next one. 
And this is a real angry kitten, a little cat. Let's go to the next one. Uh, these are art cars. This is the fantastic uh, artistry on these. Uh, this is motorized and it goes through the, uh, the playa. Next one, please. And we had a wedding at our uh, theme uh, camp, a uh, sweet, sweet couple. And, oh, they're kissing. Yes. So this is unique here. We should do this in this town here. This is a pool table with bowling balls. And it's like miniature golf, but they use a bowling ball. So get a load of this picture, folks. It is, it is really cute. Next one. Uh, this is the man himself. This is, was burned last Saturday. This is a picture with uh, the sun directly behind the head of the, the man. This is totally awesome when it burns. Next one. This, they have a post office, international post office. Next one. Uh, this is the Dilek, is it, from uh, Doctor Who? He was following me. That was really cool. Next one. Uh, this is what? Oh, the barbershop. Hey, this place has a barbershop. Let's go to the next one. Uh, art. They have art over there. There's three minutes. Come on, let's go for another one. They have their own Air Force. Not really. This is Black Rock Air Force. Uh, this is next to Camp Kono. The Kono Coffee. It was uh, fantastic. This is uh, a takeoff of, it's Mall Mart. It, I don't know if that sounds like something else, but uh, uh, the huge structures that they built for, for a week of existence. Next one. Uh, your own Stargate. You can take your bicycle through the Stargate. It's so cool. Uh, come on, next one. Uh, my friend Chapa from LA and my, my, my even better friend uh, uh, from, uh, she's from Switzerland. And he was playing there the guitar and on the main stage, and he is really fantastic. He's a friend from 2009. Uh, there's Chapa again. And oh, once again, I took a lot of pictures of him. He was good. This is in um, memory of Damon Shea, who's in Susanville, California. Every time I see a suck truck like this or the uh, porta potty, I think of Damon, and they should get the contract up there. There's a thousand porta potties. Uh, Scott Lewis, eat your heart out. They've got equipment up there too. Next one. Uh, this is emergency services are taken care of over there. Uh, we have uh, environmentalists there, tree huggers. Unfortunately, we didn't have any trees. Uh, they had a skate park. They did a skate park over there in, in the week that we were there. Go ahead. Uh, this is oh, some friendly deadheads. Yes. Uh, another art car. Uh, pancakes in the morning from 9 a.m. Excellent pancakes. It's the art of giving at, 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 uh, during the, the week we're over there. Uh, this is my little humble abode. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, this is my friend. And that's her friend. And that's her friend again. Art car, a lot of fire. Uh, they had a calliope in the front, and when they, the calliope was ro uh, uh, do, doing the thing, the music, uh, they had fire coming out the front end of that. One minute, let's go. Next one. This is Las Vegas is over there, and let's go to the next one. Uh, this is mini golf. They had mini golf out there. What's next? Uh, this is an angry chicken. <laughs> and this is our last dinner at uh, the bar, the, uh, the theme camp we had before everybody uh, left to go home. Next one. This was taken, I got his permission to take this. This was, honestly, God, was taken on a Tuesday, Taco Tuesday. So uh, we're almost out of time. We thank you. And uh, newspaper was there. And we'll see you next week. There's the man. We got time for one more? It looks like a submarine. And when the thing is driving down the street, it, it is, it's awesome. All right, good night, folks.